Hello guys from Plant Reviews today 20th of July and I'll talk now about one of the best fragrant uh, lilies, the Lilium uh, Nymph. The Lilium Nymph is a cross between uh, Trumpet Lily and Oriental Lilies uh, and um, is uh, a, a lily very adaptable to any kind of soil. I bought it from Hearts uh, Nursery and uh, as it says on the website can uh, adapt uh, easily both to acidic and uh, alkaline uh, soil. However, usually lilies uh, prefer this kind of of lilies prefer to have uh, to be on the acidic side uh, anyway this lily is extremely adaptable as long as the um, soil is well drained and uh, ideally it needs to be placed in full sun or at the most partial shade here is actually a pretty sunny uh, place uh, now it's late in the afternoon and the shade just uh, started to come around but uh, this uh, area takes sun from uh, basically 8 in the morning until about 5 in the afternoon in July and uh, this plant indeed this lily flowers usually in July uh, you can see indeed here we have the lily if I remember correctly is the Avalon and you see that the sun is still shining well cloud permitting on these uh, lilies today is a little bit of a cloudy day uh, the Lily Nymph is uh, peculiar uh, in that is uh, my only lily smelling of cinnamon. It's a very peculiar fragrance. It's not overly powerful as uh, can be uh, the Lilium Regale or, for example, uh, the um, uh, Lilium Stargazer. However, you can definitely smell the cinnamon uh, about 50 centimeters far from the flower. The flower itself is not particularly huge in comparison, for example, to the true uh, uh, Oriental. Uh, lilies or other impact lilies uh, as well I would say that uh, in uh, diameter is about 15 centimeters uh, in diameter uh, so not about 20 or 25 as many orientpets or oriental hybrids are however definitely uh, this uh, lily makes up for the pretty average size of the flower uh, the, with its fragrance and also for the very gorgeous color you can see there is a pale uh, lemon yellow with uh, bright uh, purple uh, almost burgundy uh, flushed, uh, flushes in the center of the flower uh, the plant is can be uh, can grow to up to two meters tall uh, this one uh, i planted it two years ago and it's still about uh, one meter and a half however you can reach up to two meters ideal position is in uh, full sun okay there is a little sun, a little bit of sun around you can see on the top petals of the lilium avalon uh, however uh, can adapt to a partial shade as usual for very tall lilies it's important either to stake the plant or to uh, intermingle it with other uh, quite tall shrubs or perennials indeed as you can see i have a dahlias nearby and a bud layer that offer uh, quite a support for this lily uh, and uh, in addition i tied together the plants with some green uh, wire and uh, I have to say that they are doing pretty well especially considering that uh, the this area is very windy is the most exposed area of uh, my backyard uh, garden uh, of my back garden uh, the plant uh, the lily nymph as uh, uh, most lilies uh, need to be um, buried underground uh, the bulbs are available for usually for spring uh, planting season uh, therefore from uh, February until May uh, ideally uh, the earlier you plant it the better the bulb the better it is because the bulb has time to adapt to the soil and to grow as early as possible and therefore to bloom as early as possible and the plant is more vigorous because there's more time to uh, grow in your soil uh, indeed i planted this uh, bulb in february i asked for a february uh, delivery uh, and that's uh, definitely a, uh, the season that i would suggest uh, for most lilies to, um, to to be planted except some uh, autumn planting lilies such uh, as example the uh, Madonna Lily, the uh, Lilium Candidum, uh, that is uh, mostly instead an uh, autumn and a winter grower and usually is available for sale in uh, the uh, autumn uh, bulb planting season. The plant, the nymph, uh, as usual for lilies, need to be uh, 
buried on the ground, it needs to be planted on the ground at least uh, 15 centimeters deep, ideally even 20 is even better. And uh, again, well-drained soil is particularly important in lilies because they are quite sensitive to uh, rotting. Uh, again, uh, the plant thrives in full sun but uh, can adapt to partial shade um, anyway uh, try to provide to place it in a, plant it in a place that uh, can uh, reach a minimum of six hours uh, direct sunlight ideally uh, more uh, the, um, other than that uh, I think I have uh, um, I don't for, I've not forgotten anything except that the plant is hardy it's a very hardy lily can tolerate uh, down to minus 20 degrees uh, therefore is uh, fully hardy throughout the UK and uh, uh, this uh, plant has been uh, this variety has also been featured in uh, Garden Sword in uh, the visit to Hearts Nursery and um, it uh, uh, was uh, uh, indeed featured as uh, one of the uh, best fragrant lilies indeed for the very peculiar uh, cinnamon fragrance. I hope uh, you enjoyed the video and uh, if you would like to support my channel it would be great if you can uh, please subscribe if you didn't like uh, my uh, video obviously uh, any comment even negative is more than welcome and I will follow your recommendations on how to uh, improve uh, my uh, next uh, videos also any question is uh, more than welcome if you have any questions about uh, uh, this lily or any other plant featured in my garden please uh, write a question in the comment below and I'll try to uh, get back to you as soon as possible thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will see you next time bye